Last week, members from the 378th Expeditionary Civil Engineer Squadron Emergency Management participated in joint training with the Royal Saudi Air Force, or RSAF. The training tasked EM Airmen with setting up a decontamination or decon checkpoint to remove simulated contaminants from RSAF personnel. Today, what we did is we went out and we did a radiological response exercise with the Royal Saudi Air Force. So basically, we had a radiological incident where their teams went out and did a site survey. And then our part that we played was we set up a CCS, a contamination control station, and helped decon their personnel when they were done with their ops. EM Airmen worked with translators from the 378th Air Expeditionary Wing to explain the decon process as RSAF members navigated through the line. Despite the language barrier, EM Airmen and RSAF service members were able to enter and exit the line quickly and efficiently. Working with the Saudis was a fantastic experience today. They were super on point with their time frames and, and coming through. It's always fun to work through translators and, and uh, the communication piece is always interesting. However, the way that they responded was amazing. Training like this not only gives EM Airmen vital hands-on experience, but ensures that they'll be able to respond and work with partner nations at a moment's notice. Every time we go out for just us, it's muscle memory, but it takes it even further when we make it a multinational experience. And you know, whether we're working with, with joint forces like the Army or, or multinational like the Saudis, it gives us greater perspective of if something real world goes down, can we be the most effective force possible? So any time that we get to come together like this, you know, create scenarios, we'll just be better prepared. And that's, that's our whole job is just to make sure that we're ready to respond and mitigate whatever comes our way. Reporting for the 378th Air Expeditionary Wing, I'm Tech Sergeant Alexander Frank.